As a 19 year old, it's hella hard. Like, there's guys, there's all these kind of worries. Like, you gotta watch over your back all the time. I had to go from a good kid to, like, a bad kid instantly. What's, the, what's that done to your sense of self? It's destroyed it. Honestly, like, it's horrible. I'm trying to find, get my life together and, like, figure out what to do. Yeah, I'm just not really, like, I'm scared to, like, go and stay at the camps or something. Because it's, like, I don't know what could happen. Like, there's so many things that could go wrong. I'm just scared of, like, getting swooped, picked up, like, taken somewhere, like, 19, you're pretty defenseless. You get a man that's, like, big enough to overpower you, you're pretty much fucked. Like, it's all luck. That's how I put it, anyways. But a lot of the people in it, they're not so great and not so beautiful. Because if you're homeless, they look down on you. If you're walking down the street looking at cans to be able to survive, you're looking down on. I will need you to move now since we are open. I gave okay. you about 45 minutes, so if you're not gone in 15, I will have to. I will call be forward. gone. Like that. I'm waiting for my husband. Stay out for drugs, do what they gotta do. It's, it's easy, you know, it's easy. Life is easy. I've been on my I've been on the street since I was 13. I I, I know street. I, it it's hard. It's hard out there. And you don't do right, you get in trouble. Here I am, I'm 51 years old. I'm still working. I've been working ever since. My dad died, left me a dog. Car is breaking down, it's smoking. You know, I'm trying to work something out with sound for if I can get a car, I can still work, and I'm still working and you know, I am doing I'm doing the best thing what I can do. Respect comes for the heart. And respect comes for you know, people respect you. You you wanna stand out there to hold a sign and people give you money and food, that's respect. But you wanna sit out there and loiter, that's disrespect. Ooh, um as far as that goes um, I pretty much fish and log for a living. So um, generally my schedule is, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll log for two and a half years and I get bored of that quit and go fishing for two and a half years. I don't generally run the homeless thing. I don't ever have my own home because I'm gone fishing and crap so much. But, well, I don't know about, I, I don't know about the homeless situation. These guys are my friends. And, and so I'm pretty much kicking it with them. Like if they, usually I would be at an apartment or something or their house. Mm. Um, I've been gone for a long time. No, but I would say that I'm more, I'm a chameleon. I'm going to fit in wherever I'm going to get in. You know, whether I go fishing or whether whatever, I can just, uh, this has been a unique culture shock for me, actually, a little bit. Hey, we've come from all places, so I like driving. I'm a baby. Oops. Oops. I mean, it's nice that, you know, people take an interest in, remember we're human, and I keep telling people, you know, you have no idea how close you are. You're, you're just one paycheck away from, you know, being right here with us. I think everybody should almost, you know, you know, maybe at 18 years old, be kicked out, you know, figure it out, do it for a month on your own. And see if you can do it before you come and judge me. You know, the only reason, the, when I'm flying a sign, I'll get people all the time that drive, like, get a job, blah, blah, blah. come here and talk to me. We are less than human. We are not even good enough for the garbage anymore. I'm just shocked. I don't know. I've never been treated like that. And I know if I got out of a car or walked out of the house, they would never treat me like that.